and a murder plot targeting House Speaker John Boehner. Police say that an Ohio bartender wanted to kill the speaker by poisoning his drink. Michael Hoyt apparently has some serious mental issues and is now facing some very serious criminal charges in all of this. Peter Ducey is live in Washington. So, Peter, why did this bartender apparently want John Boehner dead? Martha, the allegations all boil down to this. The bartender thinks Boehner got him fired, and the bartender thinks Boehner is responsible for the Ebola virus. His name is Michael R. Hoyt, 44 years old, and his plan was simple. According to court documents, quote, Hoyt advised that he often poured drinks for Boehner and could have already put something in his drink, but he did not. Hoyt stated that no one checks the drinks he poured for Boehner, and it would have been easy, it would have been very easy to slip something into his drink. The bosses at the Weatherington Country Club in Westchester, Ohio, say it was actually a bad attitude, and not John Boehner, that got this bartender fired. Hoyt worked there for five-plus years. That's long enough to learn the speaker's habits, and that's got the FBI and Capitol Police concerned about what could happen if this man is not locked up. So how did, how did authorities find out about this whole plan, Peter? Martha, because this bartender called 911 and asked the operator to tell his father, sorry. That's when officers rolled up to Hoyt's house, and that's when Hoyt first told police that he is Jesus Christ, John Boehner is the devil, and he planned to use his loaded Beretta 380 automatic to shoot the speaker. Those officers from the Deer Park, Ohio PD took Hoyt to the University of Cincinnati Hospital for a 72-hour psych evaluation. Now he's being held at a special prison in Massachusetts for inmates with mental issues. The Speaker's office has responded with a brief statement that just says this. Speaker Boehner is aware of the situation and sincerely thanks the FBI, the Capitol Police, and local authorities in Ohio for their efforts. And Martha, according to court documents, Boehner knows this bartender but doesn't remember ever having a negative interaction with him. Wow. Sounds like he is a disturbed individual uh, and a tough situation. Peter, thank you. We'll see you later.